In this fourth video for Activity 2, we're going to use Excel to calculate what we just did in Video 3 manually, calculating costs. We can do this all very quickly in Excel. Take a minute to open up the Excel file we used for revenue if you don't have that open yet. We will go ahead and incorporate costs into this file we were using before. The first thing I'm going to do is enter our variables for costs, so both for variable cost and fixed cost. The variables will be the only values I will hard code for costs. The other values I will add in using a formula. So let's add in the 10 for variable costs, just hard coding that, and 500 for fixed costs, again hard coded. Next I want to add cost to the table I created. I already have my quantity populated, so I just need to enter a formula for total costs. It's the same formula we use manually. We're going to use equals variable costs times quantity. Just instead of writing that out, I'm going to cell reference. Cell reference to variable costs, cell reference to quantity, and then I'm going to add fixed costs, which I'm also going to cell reference. Remember, I'm not multiplying fixed costs by quantity because we're going to incur that 500 no matter how many units we sell. Since I'm going to want to copy and paste this formula down to other rows, I want to absolute reference the cost variables, but not the quantity since I want quantity to move down with each row so that it's referencing 0 first and then 1 once I copy it down, 2 once I copy it down further. So I'm going to absolute reference the variable costs here and I'm going to absolute reference the fixed costs. Make sure you remember why we want to absolute reference certain variables and that you're comfortable with that. I'm going to hit enter and to copy that formula all the way down into the rows that already have revenue, I'm going to just double click and you can see it already populated all the way down. We could create a separate graph for our costs or we could just add costs to our existing graph, which is what I'm going to do here. To do so, I just need to select my graph. That's going to make it so I can see what data is being used in the graph. And I want to expand the cells to include the cost data. So I'm just going to drag that over there. It's going to automatically update my graph to include costs. I might also want to change the label here because it's no longer revenue. To do that, I'm just going to delete the formula that we had here and just type in revenue and costs. Keep it simple. Let's save that file and we'll manipulate this data again in a future video. In the next video, we're going to use the same data to consider the quantity in order to break even. We'll do it first manually, and then again in Excel.